guys welcome back to the channel guys if you're new here hit that bell notification like subscribe share the video guys this is this these people are sick and evil man more grave allegations that's coming out against donald trump that happened over 30 years ago and now they're trying to claim he was with a certain person on the client list jeffrey epstein and the deuce her, him to her to Donald Trump, and Donald Trump groped her over thirty years ago. Jeffrey Epstein introduced me to him, and he groped me, and he did this to me thirty-one years ago. Guys, Stacey Williams claimed that Donald Trump groped her thirty-one years ago. We're gonna play the video here of her lying through her teeth. We know models are stupid, but goddamn. After two, after the 2016 election cycle, after the 2020 election cycle, and now all of a sudden, less than two weeks away from this cycle, 2024 election, all of a sudden now her memory comes back. But Donald Trump groped her. Come on, here, called a man, basically a Nazi yesterday, Yassi yesterday. He's worse than Adolf Hitler. He's trying to be a Hitler and stuff like that. That didn't work. Everything they tried against Donald Trump ain't working because they're lying, evil people. When you lie, spill lies, lie to steal people, yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't stick. And all of a sudden, when that didn't work, drop the allocation. Oh, Donald Trump groped me. No evidence, no witness, no nothing. Just, um, Probably never met Donald Trump a day in her life, but she needed a she needed a quick payday. This is this is just pathetic. Everything they throw at Donald Trump doesn't stick because they're full of it, full of ish. And we're gonna listen to this. You can tell she's just in it for the payday. She gonna care less. They paid her probably six seven figures, and she'll say whatever. And look and, t and take a look at her as well. The whole time, she, no no eye contact, looking down, telling that she's just trying to read a script, a memo script to get through this, to get the check. You so and she's of course she's already a model, already sold her soul long time ago. This is easy money for. Her. I grew up in rural Pennsylvania, and right, my down. senior year of high school, I was discovered at the mall because where else were we all hanging out in the late eighties? Um, by a former model, and that led me to New York and Europe and a long, lucrative career as a model. And in 1992, my agent invited me to a dinner at to a restaurant on the Upper East Side of New York, and there were other models there and the usual men hangers-on at this dinner. And one of the men who was sitting at this table was Jeffrey Epstein. And I had never heard of him or anything, but we we got to know each other and we talked a lot about Clinton and Gore. And I, I enjoyed the fact that he was politically engaged and wasn't infantilizing me and talking to me about that. The <laughs> Look at you. Oh, my God. Clinton and Gore. Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, my God. She was trying to be a model. I can I, I can bet my life savings and everything in my house on it. They bet they had a clue what was going on election, politics, and shit in 1992. She trying to make a name clear or something. She couldn't even tell you how Bill Clinton, anybody looked. She couldn't pick him out of the lineup. Oh, my God. This is... <laughs> you can't make this shit a trust me. I can bet my life saved. They bitch couldn't tell you shit. What I, who was what? Who looked like? I, all of a sudden, she know Jeffrey Epstein? Oh, come on, bro. Oh, come on. Who wrote this script for her? Oh, this is just embarrassing. Next time that I saw Jeffrey was a few months later in December of 92 at Donald Trump's Plaza Hotel Christmas party. And it became very clear then that he and Donald were really, really good friends and spent a lot of time together. <laughs> After that, Jeffrey Epstein expressed a lot of interest in me, and we started seeing each other. Ugh. When Jeffrey and I would talk, he mentioned Trump 
frequently. He was clearly a close friend and they were spending a lot of time together. Late winter, early spring of 93, I was on a walk with Jeffrey from his brownstone on the Upper East Side <laughs> down Fifth Avenue when Jeffrey looked at me and said, you know, let's go stop by and see Trump. And so we went to Trump Tower and went up the elevator. And moments later, Trump was greeting us. And <laughs> he pulled me into him and started groping me. He put his hands all over my breasts. my waist my butt oh stop it and i froze and i froze because i was so deeply confused about what was happening because the hands were moving all over me yet these two men were like smiling at one another and continuing on in their conversation we jeffrey and i left and I got into the elevator with him and I felt this like he didn't look at me, he didn't speak to me, and I felt this like seething rage around him, his whole energy shifted. And when we got down to the side. It's hard to listen to this because you're just reading the script right now. I wanna okay, you left Jeffrey and Donald and stuff. So Donald Trump being the figure he was. Trump Tower Plaza and all this stuff. It better be some tapes of evidence and a lot more witness than just you. And all of a sudden, Jeffrey Epstein, his story, his case, been a couple years ago. You never, I never heard you come out. I never heard you speak. Did you speak at this, this federal trial when they were evicting him? And all of a sudden, like I said, 31 years later? I can tell you struggling, trust me, you'd have been out. If it happened in 92, 93, when Trump was running in 2016, you would have came out. Way before that, you would have came out with an assault, Me Too movement and stuff. Come on, bro. These people are desperate. Nobody verified the story. Nobody truly run it. And like I said, we're trying not to even run this story because it's full of shit. Anybody can have a story. I want to have Trump, but Trump is a fi popular figure for the last 40 years. You better have more than just your bullshit words. You better have some witnesses that like verify you met Trump, him and Jeffrey. You better have a lot more than just you. 100 percent bull. He broke me hands all over the place. Anybody, nobody believed this shit, but a few that do believe her, I have a bridge to sell you. Ocean front prop B in Nebraska, motherfucker. Come on. I you. I'd walk. He looked at me and started just berating me. Ugh. He kept saying, why did you let him do that? Why did you let him put his hands all over you? What? And he made me feel so disgusting. And I remember at that moment being so utterly confused. Number one, I thought, well, yeah, why did I let him do that? And then I was confused because, well, but why is Jeffrey mad? Because he's the one that took me up there. And I was also confused because I was someone who really prided myself as being sort of one of the top models who was problematic because I fought back against the predators in the industry. Oh. I defended fellow models on the streets of Paris when we would be grabbed or harassed. So how did I let that happen? I. I felt never so happened. humiliated and so sick to my stomach and was so upset. Oh. Um, my at me? And as I absorbed what happened a few minutes later, I felt like that was some sort of sick bet or game between the two of them. That's I was rolled in there like a piece of meat for some kind of challenge or twisted. Okay, I, I can't listen to more of her. Let's align this 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 just pound again. This is just all Democrats. Read the script. Thank you, Matt. This is oh my god. Please remember October is growing up and remembering month. Yes, it is. See, October is the month that you remember growth in 30 years later, guys. My memory 
everything, my all time, everything just kicked back. Everything cut on like a light. <gasps> I remember that day, just like Bill Bill Cosby. I ain't saying Bill Cosby a good guy, but 40, 50 years later, I remember. Even though I was drugged, drugged up, then knocked out unconscious, I remember he drugged me, he graped me, and everything like that. Even though I kept coming back to him, he took advantage of me, didn't he? Mm, I remember. I remember it all. Anybody needed to check? Oh, yeah. It make no. <laughs> I mean, the memes in the, the that two weeks before the election, who paid her? Exactly. That's the million dollar question. Two weeks before the election, who paid her and why come out now? This is his already Trump third presidential election bid. And like I said, 31 years ago, the Me Too movement started, what, bid 2000, what, 12, 13? Jeffrey Epstein already been in jail and deleted himself. You did you come out then? We got Stormy Down, a former porn star, come out against Trump and get some money. Where was you at all this time? Where would you at? Like I said, where would you at, Stacey Williams? The last thirty-one so-called years, and a public figure like Trump. Trump been a public figure for almost fifty goddamn years, at least. Or at least the last 40. And all of a sudden now, the last Hail Mary for the Democrat and the Uniparty Party and the Globalists, they pulled this chick out two weeks before the dawn election. Million dollar drugs, who paid her a check to come out to read that scripted ass BS, eyes down, trying to fake cry, no tears will ever come out her eye. Because she didn't got a good six figure struggling, six figure check to read some scripted boo shit. This is how desperate and evil these people are. Man, this is the... I, I can't even play the whole thing. We know it's a BS and stuff. Oh, I remember Donald and Jeffrey. They was best friends. Like Trump said, I met the guy a few times. That was it. Never went to Ireland. Never did nothing with him and stuff. So, come on, bro. This is already documented and stuff. And all of a sudden, she could come out with this. The Democrats going to push this out. Oh, this is just embarrassing, guys. Not, like I said... Let me know in the comments what you think, guys. You think you think Stacy Will Stacy Will the believable old dump groped her dirty one? She she magically remember? Oh, you know, like we all do, it's full of she's full of crap. Like the rest of these people here, they're trying to take Trump down. They're trying to do whatever they can. It it's not sticking because when you're full of shit, you're evil, you're lying, cheating, and stealing, it never sticks. When you're favored by God, it never never sticks. So this, so the Hitler didn't work. This ain't gonna work. Assassination tip didn't work. I don't know what more they can do, but they, the evil people, they'll try something, something else. They'll burn this down, start war. Who knows? But at the same time, guys, let me know in the comment section what you think. You think this model got groped by Trump uh, 31 years ago? I just magically remember it was so hard for me, even after all this time. Or you think it's just she got a check? She's full of shit like the rest of them. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Your boy, the drunken.